Hello and welcome to Bill's open source graphics tutorials. This tutorial is a GIMP 2.8.0 tutorial made with the newest version of GIMP available at the official GIMP website at www.gimp.org. This tutorial is going to show you how to cut out a flower using the Paths tool in GIMP. The Paths tool is located on the toolbox here, so click it to select it. Then I'm going to zoom in on the image by holding control on my keyboard while rotating the center mouse wheel of my mouse to get closer to the image. In this tutorial I'm also going to be moving around the image by using my center mouse wheel button by clicking it and dragging to move around the image. So let's begin. Click to make a point. This is called a node. Halfway along the curve I'm going to click another node point but this time I'm going to click and drag my mouse to create a curve. This is the node point. It's a round dot. And the two square boxes here and here are the handles for the curve. These can be clicked and dragged to adjust the curve to fit the shape that we want it to match. Zoom in close when you come to smaller, more intricate detail and continue clicking and dragging in the direction of the curves that you want to make. To make a slight V-shape here I'm going to click once to create a corner point and then I'm going to click and drag to create another curve. This gives us a little V-shape. Continue clicking and dragging to finish this petal. When I get to this point you see I've now reached another corner so I'm going to click and drag the last handle that I made and point it in the direction of the next curve. Click and drag and zoom in for more detail and here I'm going to make a corner point click and drag a curve another corner point and another curve and continue with the rest of the petal. At this point I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to continue selecting around the flower and I'll be back with you in a minute. And now I'm on the last petal, just finishing off. Again, don't be afraid to zoom in to create the more detailed selections. And I'm just going to finish off this curve. I need to close the path by holding control and clicking on the first node point that I made. That completes the path. Press control shift J on your keyboard and press enter on the keyboard and this turns the path into a selection. I don't know if you can see this but there are marching ants around the path selection that we made around the flower. Right click the layer in the layers dialog and choose add layer mask. When the add, add layer mask dialog appears choose initialize layer mask to selection. Click add, click select none 
and deselect the Paths tool by clicking on any of the other tools on the toolbox. Let's add a new layer and I'm going to fill this new layer with the foreground colour which is black and then I'm going to click and drag the layer underneath the flower layer so that now we have our completed graphic. I'm going to select the move tool and then I can move the flower around the image. If we zoom in closely you can see that the paths tool has made a very nice job of cutting around the image with very smooth curves And that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I would appreciate any comments you'd like to leave. Thank you. Bye bye.